Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Pace Athletics Alumni Spotlight presented by New York Presbyterian, the official healthcare provider of Pace Athletics. Today, I'm joined by 2018 Pace Field Hockey graduate, Leslie Sanchez Alvarez. Leslie, thank you very much for being here. Thank you for having me. Um, so you were a part of the first ever Pace Field Hockey team in 2015. Um, very, you know, very cool experience to, I think, be a part of the Maiden program. Uh, very young team, bunch of freshmen, a uh, couple sophomores. Um, you guys were kind of doing this journey together. What was it kind of like to kind of go through that with your teammates? Uh, I would say it was an, like an awesome experience. Like you mentioned, uh, we did have such a young team. But I feel that uh, the women on, on that team were just so... Um, they like took charge and what they wanted and they really came prepared to play. Um, as for, like you mentioned that we only had like, I think three upperclassmen be me being one of them, but the two upperclassmen, uh, Brittany, Predmore and Margaret, um, they, they came like, I could see their leadership in them and having those qualities made me want to like reflect what they had. So just being on that team itself, um, I think, contribute to the person I am today. Yeah, that's great. Um, yeah, Brittany and, and Margaret were obviously, um, you know, vital members to that team as the only, uh, you know, upperclassmen at least experienced playing collegiate field hockey. Um, so, you know, it didn't take long for you guys to have some success on the field. Um, and it's usually a harder process, I think, when you, you're, you're starting a program like that. But even, you know, you had such a great career. Um, you were, you know, a go goalkeeper, uh, one of the best goalkeepers, you know, we've had in, in the last five or six years of the of the program. Um, why do you think you guys had so much, you know, you kind of mentioned it, but what, what went into the success that you had? Uh, like I said, like the, our teammates, uh, the people on that team, and I also think the coaches, um, Coach uh, Kinsley also contributed like immensely to um, our dynamic. Um, and I think like, I was actually kind of surprised at how well we did in the first year, because, you know, we're the first ever, uh, field hockey team and no one really expects much, but since they don't expect much when we actually provide and bring what we did, um, it just set the bar higher than, um, like what people were thinking. And then people actually took notice of us. So yeah. I think a lot of money good. Yeah, <laughs> I would say, yeah, I, I, you think the expectations would be kind of low. It's like I said, tough to start a program. So yeah, that's, that's awesome. And, you know, as I mentioned, a 2018 grad uh, year, you know, once you graduated the year after uh, the field hockey team really exploded, uh, made it all the way to the final four. Um, kind of how much pride do you have and do you take in kind of being a part of, you know, how it started and, and that team that went all the way to the final four, you know, is there a pride and be like, I, you know, I was there at the beginning. Yeah, it was like amazing hearing how far they got and it would have been awesome if they could continue. But, you know, just having that merit of actually getting to the final four and being what four years into the program, that's just like crazy and just amazing. And I wish I was part of it still, you know, playing, but just proud of them. Yeah, that's that's very cool. Very cool. Um, all right, I'm going to do a quick little pivot here. You are now, upon your graduation, you're in med school, um, your second year. Uh, you are a bio major uh, while at Pace. Um, certainly, you know, as a bio major, as any major in being a student athlete, um, is very busy. You have to obviously do some a lot of time management kind of has that time management you learned as being a field hockey student athlete? Um, is that helping you now that you're in grad school? Yeah, honestly, it has. Um, time management is essential because I just spend 24 hours a day studying. Um, and, you know, having scheduling in what I need to do, like mental health wise, um, things I need to do for myself um, helps me, you know, become more focused in my studies. Um, also, some other skills that I've learned uh, while being at Pace and also on the team, like organization is also key. Uh, just making sure that I have everything outlined for myself on what I need to study, what's due, um, things like that I've learned because also because I was on the team. Um, and also I have to mention like communication uh, is just important uh, as a medical student because 
we have, I'm, I'm with my classmates, we come from all over the country um, and people bring different things to, with them. So being able to receive um, what they're saying and me, able, me being able to um, articulate what I'm trying to say to them is, is also very important. And I think I, I gained those skills on the team, uh, you know, playing in a, like a pressured environment, trying to get my information across to them. So yeah, those three things I carry um, with me since Pace and being on the team. Yeah, I, I, you know, is... Um... You know, what um, What kind of advice kind of w- would the advice be to kind of stay organized? What, what kind of advice would you give maybe if some, if you if you were to talk to someone that was just about to kind of start their collegiate, you know, either field hockey or at least student athlete career, what kind of advice would you would you tell them? Um, I would say um, I think talking to the upperclassmen, especially especially if you're a bio s- student and you're on the team. I think having that support system um, is very critical because, um, you know, bio majors um, and even, you know, nursing majors, they have a lot of workload and being on the team, that's also another added factor that you need to take note of when you're doing your thing. So I think having that support system, upperclassmen or other people around you is just important to establish. Yeah, that's, that's great advice. Um, now, I think a final question for you is, you know, the field hockey team is kind of, you know, it's an interesting situation because it's so young and there's not many alums like yourself out there. Um, is the hope, you know, and you're, you know, you're very new, a new alum, I would say, is the hope to kind of build up a little alumni network within the field hockey program as, you know, as, a, you know, 2018 to, to hope to stay involved and stay supportive and maybe, you know, keep the, keep the tight knit program together? Yeah, I have to say, like, I've been a little a bit bad at it. Um, I'm not as involved as I would hope, um, but I do try to attempt, like, Coach Kinsley has um, these meetings where she tries to have the Pace uh, Field Hockey alum meet, um, and I've been to a couple, but I definitely hope to maybe come back and maybe talk to the um to the field hockey players in particular, maybe the bio majors and offer some advice, especially if they would like to go to med school. That's great. Um, Yeah, and I don't think you need to be too too hard on yourself. You're just just graduating. (laughs) There's no problem. Um, I guess my final question, and I don't, uh, nothing we kind of discussed earlier, but a little surprise for you is, what do you miss the most about being a, you know, a Pace Field Hockey student athlete? Um, I miss my teammates and like playing. That's something I miss the most. Um, you know, being med school, I'm like I said, I'm always studying and I do have friends, but you know, due to the COVID pandemic, I just think about like what my life was like in at pace and seeing, you know, me seeing my teammates and like bonding with them, I miss the most. Awesome. Well, that's that's really all I have for you, Leslie. I appreciate you joining us. Thank you very much. And you know, hopefully we can do this again. Yes. So, yes, thank you for having me.